Hey, this is Andy from Viator's Murder, and you're listening to Teeny Tuss Metal Radio. Hello, we're here at uh, Alcatraz Festival with Andy from uh, Die Artist Murder. Hi, uh, when did you get here today? Uh, I got here about one hour ago. One hour ago, yeah. so you, you haven't seen any bands uh, then? No, no bands. It was a long drive from the Czech Republic. Yeah, you did Brutal Assault. Brutal assault yesterday, so I think it was 15 or 16 hour drive. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> you must be tired. Are you going to see some bands today still? No, I don't think so. I think uh, after this I'll have a shower and then we play the show and then have dinner and then we have to leave to go play Bloodstock. Yeah. <laughs> Busy schedule, yes. Uh, so what do you have in store for the fans today? You have uh, Greatest Hits, a great deal of the new album maybe? I mm-hmm. Yeah, we're know. playing four songs from the new album. Oh yeah. Oh, it only came out two weeks ago. Yes, the 26th of July. I hate rehearsing, so yeah. we didn't rehearse oh? until uh, the sound check for the first show of this tour. So we managed to get four songs ready, which is a very big effort for us. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully people enjoy them. They've been going over really well so far. Well, I uh, had a quick listen already. Um, you have several teams. Let's start with the song New Gods. It's all about social media. Could you tell me something about that? Um, well, I've been reading a lot uh, lately about the neg- like widespread issue of depression in the Western world. Yeah. And uh, social media uh, somehow naturally is heavily involved in Mm -hmm. and and people using their phones living on their phones deciding what they do with their phones yeah Um, getting all the likes which is interesting that Instagram removed this uh, now so what what difference it makes Mm -hmm. but uh, it was annoying CJ I think he said one of his friends his his girlfriend his his wife sorry is on the phone all the time and it annoys him he said can you write a song about this I said okay yeah it annoys me also um so, you know, just people uh, living their life dictated by what other people uh, think because, because getting the likes sort of curates uh, what people do with their time. They say, oh, well, this photo got more likes, so I should do more things like this. It's like, well, why don't you just do more of whatever it is that you Yeah, do? And <laughs> that's true, yeah. Doing what you think will get you more uh, likes. Or fame. Yeah, of course. And then there is uh, Make America Hate Again, which is uh, politics. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm pretty Do- big into politics. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people criticize me and the band because it's an Australian band, but a lot of people also don't realize that I'm an American Yes, citizen. you are, yeah. Uh, with a, a little American girl, this one. Um, yeah. And you worry about the future. Ab- absolutely. She's growing up in an American uh, political system, an mm-hmm. American healthcare, an American education system, guns, all of those sorts yeah. of things affect me. Um, so I wanted to write a song. Of course, that. yes. Yeah. I and understand. So totally. the, the, the take mm-hmm. on the song is that regardless of whether Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton won, mm-hmm. uh, both political parties really had an aggressive uh, campaign mm-hmm. targeting the opposition and just making people hate each other, which I did not like. <laughs> There is also the climate change theme. Um, let's talk about that. As you said, eh? yes. does it worry you a lot in terms of our kids? Because um, they're the ones who will have to deal with a lot of problems as a direct as a result of that. Absolutely. Um, it's something... Uh, we've been known for having a lot of nihilistic themes in mm-hmm. our music. I'm a really big uh, fan of Frederick Nietzsche. So a lot of those themes have been present in the, the last records until Holy War. And then in 2015, my daughter was born. Yeah. And, uh, obviously, this gi- it changes your perspective a little yes. bit. It's not so easy to just give up anymore because uh, it's quite easy to give up on oneself, but not so easy to give up on someone else that you love. So it started off with the song They All Know Another, which was the first song I wrote after she was born, which was about uh, all these different uh, socio-political and and, uh, environmental issues around the world and how they would impact her future. And so uh, on the last album, we also spoke about these sorts of things um, with Fire in the Sky. And then on this record, I think Eye for an Eye is a 
pretty big uh, environmental, environmentally yeah. themed song that, um, you know, something that I care about mm -hmm. and something that I'm you know, trying to do better at every day. Yeah, <laughs> we all do, we all try. <laughs> well, not everybody does, unfortunately, that's, yeah. that's one of the big issues. You said it already, you're the main uh, writer of the band um, how does it work does everybody get involved eventually or not uh, yeah from the very beginning which mm -hmm. is what, what makes it easier for me um, so Sean and I will write the music together mm -hmm. uh, not together but normally we don't write until we get to the studio so he will have a yeah. room and I'll have a room next to each other and we will just be writing music maybe 18 hours a day yeah as much as possible oh for two weeks that's um, a lot yeah so we normally write the whole album musically in about two or three weeks yeah and then after this normally CJ will come and we'll start assembling the, the music with the drummer yep um, you know does this chorus happen here or how does the song mm. get structured and then after that uh, we will all sit down and talk about different themes for lyrics yeah um, not even for particular songs just a list yeah. and we might have 30 different things topics yeah. so CJ was angry about this social media stuff we're all concerned about the environment um, very concerned with American politics um, my wife told me about the, the human organ harvesting in China yeah, for yeah. instance so all these things go into the list and then once we have a list I'll try and, and develop these concepts just a little bit maybe one or two sentences of of uh, thoughts mm -hmm. and then we take these ideas and match them to the music like this song sounds very scary what's a scary yeah. lyrical idea this one sounds really sad what's a sad lyrical idea and we match them up like this and then uh, I just have to write lyrics interesting yeah and then, uh, <laughs> then make them go over the music and then CJ will record the vocal yeah pretty fun yeah I guess. <laughs> I have had the same producer for years, uh, Will Putton. Does that make it easier? I mean, let, like he knows what you want? Definitely. Yeah. Um, we would never work with another producer, I don't okay. think. Uh, he's like another member of the band. Mm -hmm. He's helping us write the music. He's helping us write the lyrics because he knows uh, what we're trying to do. Yeah. And we know what he's trying to do as well. I mean, his band, Fit for an Autopsy, and ours are best mm -hmm. friends. So we're doing many shows around the world together for <laughs> seven or eight years now. Yeah. It's nice. So um, it's easy to, to explain to him uh, a picture that we're trying to paint. And some other people might not understand the, the vision. And he yeah. probably gets it. He so gets it. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. You need to do this, you need to do that. This is stupid. Why don't you do this? <laughs> so it's definitely easier then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have a last question. Uh, it's about CJ. How's he doing uh, these last years? Because he had a drug addiction and stuff, but now he has a kid. Yeah. I read, and uh, his family. Is everything okay with the band everything's and everything's fine? fine? Yeah. Uh, everything's great. He's happier than he's ever been. Uh, very focused, I think. One of the things that happens with people that have these addiction problems is it's not necessarily what they're addicted to, it's themselves yeah. that issue. And CJ is one person who will get addicted to anything. Yeah. So thankfully he's replaced his unhealthy addictions with positive ones. Yeah. So being addicted to his family life, to his career, and working hard, um, which some people will say is unhealthy also. <laughs> being a workaholic <laughs> but uh, better to be addicted to something that's constructive rather of than course of course well we're glad for all of you <laughs> well uh, I'm looking forward to the show uh, I wish you all the best and uh, thank you for the chat